find a way up. Hello! Not so hard. <laughs> really easy. Come on. Oh my oh my god, that was so that was so pathetic. Doesn't have a magnet, really do you walk around and grab it. Magnetical. Really. Slightly do, but very, very keen. Oh, a wrecked ship. Oh, that was epic, man. There you guys are. And the poison you go. Or not. That was still a failure. Feather over here. See there. Bad idea. Bad idea. Shit, I can go a lot more. A little fire. Ta -da! Perfect. Oh, -ho, time to face the boss. That's suddenly the first boss since that other one. We're here, aren't we? Yeah, we're here. Here's the way they kill each other. Well, that one. <laughs> How do you die like that anyway? Oh, they're running away. They are killing each other. Oh, we gotta stop him. Ha! <laughs> eh, too late. We tell each other they were in this water and killed each other. It is so awesome. Yeah, they are running from something. Dumb tree, it's beautiful. Don't go now. This feels like the right place, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Wonderful. I'm gonna go wait over there. You know, I'll give you a few minutes. Maybe there was a lily pad you forgot to sing on, or a rainbow you could talk to. Hello? I'm here. Give me a sign. Something. It's a monster. Uh, it's 
my turn to pass out. You're on your own, buddy. No. Behold, Arborek. For each of his parts. He's throwing his flames off. We have to keep burning. Watch out for the cake attack. He's weakened. Let's keep going. No use stopping. Just keep blasting him. And if you look closely, he has the exact same attacks as a Stone Sentinel from Tall Plains in the last game. Where would he go? Ah! This doesn't look good. Got that right, Spyro. Here he comes! his feet. I suppose you're only right footed then. <laughs> I'll attack that. Oh boy. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. They're going down, Iron Barret. Ha ha ha! And this tree comes to tumble down. No, oh, no. What the? Come on, you killed. Him. <laughs> He's going over. You can kill it. Spyro, I am the mighty tree. Calling you from across the void! Journey hither and vanquish me! Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Wait, you don't suppose that was the chronicle? Alas! <laughs> the purple dragon has been wandering lost in the ancient grove. You've been quite a nuisance to us. <laughs> Whoa, what's with the girl? That's the captain. Well, you got shut my mouth. I will say it again. Sparks, maybe you should stay out of this one. Yes, mind yourself. To answer your earlier question, no, that isn't the chronicler. That was Arboric. He was going to be the main attraction in our tournament. Now it's ruined. Gosh, I really feel bad about that. Oh, really, no need for remorse. You'll do just fine. What does he mean by that?
Now we're going to probably my favorite world in the game. Wing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Must you do that? Well, maybe I do, must I do that? And you know, it might be just crazy enough to work. Come on, Spyro, put that sorrow behind you and clap your hands with me. Let the joy come pouring down, rain on me. <laughs> Can't you feel it? <laughs> Can't you just feel the love in the room tonight? <laughs> Oh! Molière! Oh, is that really your friend? It's me. Where are we? Can you get us out? You are on Scat's ship. Maybe next time. Next time we'll do the third world, the pirate fleet. Later. <laughs>